Assalamu alaikum and welcome to Sitara Kitchen. On today's video, we are showing you a step by step guide to the best green chutney you have ever made. Let's get into it and have a little overview of what we need. While we are preparing to wash our coriander and mint leaves, take a moment to subscribe to our channel. Chutney is a famous vegetarian side dish in Pakistan and India, but can also be eaten as a main course, for example, with roti. The most European way to eat it would be to use it as a dip or spread. After washing them, separate the mint leaves from the stem. We highly recommend fresh ingredients. Much easier to handle is the coriander. Just cut it a little so that it fits later in the blender. To get the best out of our chutney, make sure to use fresh coriander as well. In the next step, we cut our tomato. After you have washed it and removed the stem, we also cut it so small that it fits into the blender. In our case, two cuts are enough. Now, let's peel the garlic. A little trick, hammer on it briefly and the peel falls off almost automatically. Also remove the stem from your chilies. Time to get to work on the avocado. No matter what you have ever heard about cutting avocados, there's only one way to cut them. Cut into it until you hit the pit. From there, run the knife around the pit and you'll have the perfect cut. Remove the pit by chopping once into it. Turn your knife so the pit will become loose and easy to remove. Beware of the famous avocado hand by aiming correctly. Now insert your spoon between the peel and the flesh and slowly scoop out the avocado. While the experienced chutney maker matters for eye, you are welcome to read the weight from the scale. Add your own touch to your chutney by playing with the measurement of the ingredients and tell us in the comments what came out. Time to fill the blender with the previously prepared ingredients. Put everything in it except the yogurt and salt. Make sure you don't overmix your ingredients too much because we'll need to fry up the blender a second time. Let's make some room for the last ingredients. Yogurt and salt. While the mixing is ongoing, take a moment to subscribe. When you think you have reached the right consistency for your chutney, the work here is done. Now you can admire your work. If you have tried the recipe yourself, we are happy about the photo. The best photo will be honored in a community post on YouTube and also be featured on our social media accounts. Contact information can be found in the description. We at Sitara Kitchen appreciated your time and hope to have you on next time. Allah Hafiz.